It's 10 trivia questions on summertime for Patreon subscriber KC Corey. This is Trivia with Buds. it be and welcome to another episode of the trivia with buds podcast i'm your host ryan buds thanks for checking out the show and thanks for telling a friend who loves trivia to give it a listen 1800 going on 1900 episodes to listen to whenever you want to no paywall but you can listen for a dollar a month completely ad free check that out like kc does patreon.com slash trivia with buds today's episode all about summertime trivia before we get there we've got our warm-up letter of p for categories and we have Math terms, weekend activities, and places to hang out. Math terms, weekend activities, and places to hang out. Listen for my three P answers at the end of the episode, along with a fun fact of the day about a duck. We're all warmed up, we're ready, and we're diving into summertime trivia. Here we go. It's summertime trivia. Question number one. From what California university did Olympic swimming sensation Katie Ledecky graduate? Number one. From what California university did Olympic swimming sensation Katie Ledecky graduate? Number two. Which installment in the Harry Potter franchise was split into two different blockbuster parts in fall 2010 and summer 2011? Number two. Which installment in the Harry Potter franchise was split into two different blockbuster parts in fall 2010 and summer 2011? Number three. Whose 2019 fan favorite song Cruel Summer was finally released as a single in 2023? Number three. Whose 2019 fan favorite song Cruel Summer was finally released as a single in 2023? Number four, in 1978, childhood friends Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield founded their eponymous ice cream business in the state of what? What state was that? Ben and Jerry. Number five, what hot summer month is named for the great nephew of Roman general Julius Caesar? Number five, what hot summer month is named for the great nephew of Roman general Julius Caesar? Number six, what's the name of Bill Murray's summer camp counselor in the 1979 summertime comedy Meatballs? Number six, what is the name of Bill Murray's summer camp counselor in Meatballs? Number seven, what yacht rock and musical duo sailed a summer breeze to Billboard chart success in 1972? Number seven, what yacht rock and musical duo sailed a summer breeze to Billboard chart success in 1972? Number eight, what dog star rises and sets with the sun during summer's hottest days, often known as the dog days of summer? Number eight, what dog star rises and sets with the sun during summer's hottest days? Number nine, who plays adventurer Rick O'Connell in the beloved 1999 summer blockbuster The Mummy? Who plays Rick O'Connell in The Mummy? And number 10, what company sails the Icon of the Seas, the largest cruise ship in the world? What company sails the Icon of the Seas, the largest cruise ship in the world? Those are all your questions for the quiz today on Summertime, picked by KC Corey. These questions are all from the amazing trivia library at crowdper.com. Go sign up for an account and see amazing new content every single week and use it as a great way to entertain people in person, virtually, or as hybrid events. That's crowdper.com, the official trivia usage of Trivia with Buds uh, every single day. We'll be right back with the answers after this. Most food critics are all about those fancy high-end meals no one can actually afford. But what about the rest of us? Who's got our back? Join me, your host, Michael Ornelas, each week on the Fine Dining Podcast as I subject my taste buds to the tepid offerings of every chain restaurant in America. IHOP, done. Cracker Barrel, without a doubt. P.F. Chang's, you bet I've been there too. It's my mission to find the ultimate mediocre dining experience because who said mid can't be magnificent? It's not fancy dining, but it's fine dining. Check out the Fine Dining Podcast wherever you prefer to listen. 
We are back with the answers to summertime trivia. Let's see how you did. Number one, from what California university did Olympic swimming sensation Katie Ledecky graduate? That's Stanford. Stanford. Number two, which installment in the Harry Potter franchise was split into two different blockbuster parts in fall 2010 and summer 2011? That would be the Deathly Hallows, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. My daughter is on that book right now. My wife is reading it out loud to her, and she's getting very discouraged at all of the characters who don't make it to the very end. Number three, whose 2019 fan favorite song, Cruel Summer, was finally released in the year of 2023 as a single, Taylor Swift, Taylor Swift. Number four, in 1978, childhood friends Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield made Ben and Jerry's ice cream in the state of Vermont, Vermont. Number five, the hot summer month named for great nephew of Roman general Julius Caesar is August, August. Number six, what is the name of Bill Murray's summer camp counselor in the 1979 summertime comedy Meatballs? Tripper. That's a tough one to remember, Tripper. Number seven, what yacht rock and musical duo sailed a summer breeze to Billboard chart success in 1972? That song, Summer Breeze by Seals and Crofts, Seals and Crofts. Number eight, what dog star rises and sets with the sun during summer's hottest days? That is Sirius, like the satellite radio. Number nine, who plays adventurer Rick O'Connell in the beloved 99 summer blockbuster The Mummy? Brendan Fraser, Brendan Fraser. And number 10, what company sails the icon of the seas, the largest cruise ship in the world? Royal Caribbean, Royal Caribbean. And there you have it, a quiz on the summertime, again, from crowdper.com. Go check them out. Free accounts available, and then plans for the more players and features you need, crowdper.com. Your uh, fact of the day for today is ducks have three eyelids. If you didn't know that, now you know. And your letter was P, math terms. I'll keep it simple, just plus. This plus that equals that. Weekend activities, play dates with the kids at their friends' houses or at uh, festivals and things here in Northeast Tennessee. And places to hang out, how about Portillo's in Chicago, the best place to get a hot dog or a beef and cheddar or pretty much anything. Cake shake, oh, it's the best. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Thank you.